Contact factory scripts include a transform script, note numbers to CC, that allows you to transform MIDI note numbers directly into CC controller numbers. But what about converting CC controller numbers into note numbers? There isn't a factory script to do that, but today's your lucky day. In today's advanced video tutorial, we'll create a contact script that allows you to convert MIDI control change to note numbers. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash adsrtoots. So here I have an instrument that has all zones covered across the entire grid. Okay, so what I want to do today is talk about how you can access uh, MIDI CC via the on controller listener. So let's take a look at our script editor. Okay, so anytime a controller um, is uh, called or executed, the on controller callback is executed. So this happens whenever a CC pitch bend or channel pressure message is, re is received. Okay, so once you are listening to on controller, you can do various things like set controller, which allows you to send a MIDI CC pitch bend or channel pressure value. You can use ignore controller, which allows you to ignore a controller event inside of a controller callback. And it looks a little bit like this. So this is the on controller callback. And you can evaluate the CC number and then you can do something like ignore so this will ignore um, control number number one controller number one and then you can also do something else like set controller Okay, so what I did here was uh, I checked for controller number one. When it come when it when it is executed, I'm going to ignore the value, and then I'm also going to pass the I'm going to basically repass the value as something different. So I'm ignoring controller number one here, and then I'm I'm also executing a MIDI command. Um, this is VCC mono aftertouch. We'll talk about that a little later. It's a MIDI command or a virtual MIDI controller, and I'm going to pass in the value of the MIDI controller number that came number one that came in. So basically, CC number one came in. I said ignore it, but then I also want to take the value and repass it to a different virtual MIDI controller. So these are some of the things that you can do with um, the on controller callback. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the, the built-in variables um, of the controller. So first you have CC and then controller number. Okay, so what this does is this allows you to get the current controller value for the specified controller. So just keep in, keep in mind that we use percent CC here. Okay, so what I'm saying here is I want to get the value of controller number 12. Okay, so I can do something like current value equals CC12. So this current value will be set to the current value of CC12. Okay, one interesting note that I, that I realized is when you touch the MIDI controller, when you touch a controller, like just for instance, we have pitch bend and modulate. If I just touch it, without actually changing the value, this will actually return back zero or one. And that's a, a built-in variable called CC touch. And we'll, we'll talk about that quickly in a, in a second. But just, I, I found that interesting because nowhere in the reference guide is to specify that if you um, don't change the value that it'll return CC touch. but I'll actually show you that in a second when we talk about CC touch. Okay, so that's the value. The next thing that you can get is you can actually get 
the you can evaluate which CC controller number was triggered. Okay, and you you do that with CC number. Okay, so you can say um, what controller, for instance. Right. So if I do this. Um, this will actually equal the controller number. So in our, keeping with our example, 12, if 12 is what triggered the, the callback, um, what controller will equal 12? Okay, and you can actually even do something like this. You can actually replace the 12 with that. You can actually do that. That's a, that's a legal command. Okay, and then um, another one that we have access to is percent CC touch. Now, what this will do is um, you pass in the controller number. So I can just say controller number here. And what this will do was this will return one if the specified controller value has changed and zero if otherwise. So what it looks like happens is when you touch the controller, the callback actually is executed. And then this is this fire. So this returns zero or one. And Let's write a um, quick, uh, so just so you can see this in action. Okay, so if I say um, message percent cc dollar sign cc number. this as you can see you got zero same thing for here so zero and one both zero actually well actually let me move it so you can see so now you see the value if I just touch it you get zero but if I move it you'll see the actual value um, um, being displayed. So that's a, a little trick that I found out. Okay, so another built in variable that you have access to is dollar sign VCC mono after touch. And, and so what this is, is, this is the value of the virtual CC controller for mono after touch, which is also known as channel pressure. Another one that you have access to is VCC pitch bend. And this is the value of the virtual CC controller for pitch bend. So let's just use pitch bend as an example. We can do something like if dollar sign CC number equals pitch bend message pitch bend oops some typos all right, there we go. All right, so this is this is a built-in variable for pitch bend. Okay. All right, so let's uh, script a little bit and see how we can um, convert some MIDI CCs um, to various things. All right, so we already have our own controller. We don't need an init because we don't need to initialize it. We don't need we don't need anything in our ICB, which is our initial callback. So what we can do is say if uh, so we have our controller if it's in the range of um, 0 and 127 let's write a message so I'm going to write the CC number And the, I want to write the value as well, or the actual number. 
and the value. Oops. So to remember to get the value, I have to use the percent percent cc. So percent cc, and then I need to pass in a controller number, and I could just use the placeholder, the variable for cc number. Okay. All right. So that's for um, a generic CC. I also want to be able to capture if it's pitch bend as well. All right. So if it's the dollar sign CC num equals the CC pitch bend. All right. So that means if the controller is is the pitch bend instead of a, a outside controller number. I'm going to write a message again. Pitch bend and the text value. And I'm going to use percent CC and dollar sign CC number. Oops. Make sure I don't have any typos. Message. All right, so if it is pitch bin, you'll see pitch bin and the value. And if it's something else, you'll see the CC number and the value. Okay, so that's nice and dandy. So how can we get it to play some notes? Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we now we do need an ICB and on init, which is ICB, because we need a placeholder to hold the ID of the note that we played. Okay, so we'll do that by adding a note ID. Okay, so just declare, um, declare, I'm gonna call it note ID. Okay, so now what you want to do is, um, let's see, I, I don't have a MIDI controller plugged in right now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a pitch bin. So I'm going to say that if, um, Let's just take this. I can use this. I'm going to just replace this. All right, so if uh, CC number equals VCC pitch bend, I am going to write the message pitch bend in the value. Okay, but then also what I'm going to do is. I want to check to see if it's uh, the value is 8191. So I'm going to use um, percent CC and I copy VCC pitch bend. All right, so if that equals 80, 8191. I'm going to set the note ID equals to a play command. So play note, I'm just going to say note 60. And if it doesn't, which means that uh, I am, um, I move my mouse off, I want the note to go off. So I'm going to issue a note off command and I'm going to say note off, note ID. All right. So there you have it. As you can see, because this is the pitch bend wheel, it is, it is also, it is also modulating the pitch as well. Okay, so, so this is how you evaluate MIDI CC, and with the built-in general and specific variables, you can, you can focus on specific MIDI CC and their values. And I mean, you could take this a step further and dynamically uh, play notes based on the actual value of the, of the uh, C, of MIDI CC, but this is just to show you how you can evaluate 
MIDI CC commands and transform them into other things. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials supercharge your contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. I go make some music.